Gems. Gemini, the Abby Phoenix here for your August 2018 reading. What's up? Keep hearing the door though. What's up, guys? Hello again to my previous subscribers and welcome to um, those of you who are checking me out for the first time. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Last month for you, Gemini's, was all about time being up. And when I was cleansing the deck, I saw the Wheel of Fortune. I saw it. Um, where I do feel as if things are taking a turn for you all this month. Two of Earth. Oh, but you are still... <laughs> Y'all are still playing that fence, huh? So um, last month, in summary, was all about the way that you all have chosen to act in the past. Needing to be over. Needing to be over. Where... Um, you know, cycles are ending with this retrograde season, with this eclipse season. So um, let's see what the message will be for Gemini's for August. How do you guys like it? A different setup. I um, relate to Gemini's in that way where I need to have change. <laughs> My fellow air signs, you know. General reading won't resonate with everyone. No reversals, no sign call-outs. Um, still suggesting that you watch for your sun and rising in particular. King of Fire. Um, <clears throat> where I'm not even necessarily feeling as if this is a person. Even though usually, you know, the King, Queens, Knights, Pages, they usually do represent that in tarot. But I feel that this is more about you all not, not acting. <clears throat> <clears throat> still not acting on something. It's like you were waiting with the three of wands for it to come to you. Messenger of air, six of earth, page of fire. Let's read that. Five of air. I don't have any major arcana yet. storyline before and not really much major arcana but I don't remember Gemini's, five of pentacles, the four of wands, or the four of fire at the bottom of the deck. You all are avoiding making a decision about commitment. All right, let's get this situated. So progression, right? Progression. You know, the ending of the way that you used to behave in certain situations, especially when it came to your relationships. But now you're being called to make a decision and you aren't doing it. Two of Earth. Uh, I said I was starting off with Major Arcana first. The Fool. Call. the world and what's funny to me actually is um, because this is the first and the last card 
in the tarot deck, Major Arcana wise, how interesting that that should be for you, Gemini, because there's there's at least two people living in you at all given times, right? Two of Earth, the King of Fire, Three of Fire, the Messenger of Air, the Six of Earth, the Page of Fire, which is giving me more earthly vibes. The Five of Air and the Five of Pentacles. Change, change, change. Clear as day here. So a balance of material and action-oriented energy here. And then in the middle, it has to do with um, mental energy, communicative, communication energy. Ooh, Gemini's. So like I said, um, I don't necessarily feel that this king of fire energy is another person. I feel as if that's the energy that you are meant to embody, especially because the bottom of the deck is four of wands, four of fire. Um, you have been called to act. You have been called to make a decision. And you're choosing not to. I feel with this three of fire here, and this is, I, I really believe this is what I talked about last month with you all, is that you, you have chosen in the past to not make decisions. You have let other people sway you in your decision making. And now it is time to end that type of behavior, make the choices for yourself, but you're falling back into the same patterns. You would rather the decision be made, and I've heard this actually from a lot of Geminis in my life. You would like for the decision to be made for you. Like it, it, it's just supposed to fall in your lap and then it's, it's still as if you don't need to have accountability. Whichever way the decision takes your life. So I'm not surprised to see the messenger of air here where this energy is about bringing something to you. It's about bringing something to you. It's about bringing clarity. It is about truth. Truth. I'm, I'm hearing that very loudly right now. Truth. And I think that's why you're hesitant. Because if this is the ultimate goal, which I do believe is a goal of yours, Gemini, even though this is more about where divine wants you, you're being called to some level of commitment, lifestyle, those types of things. But you want the answer to be brought to you, even though you know what it is. Does that make sense? I, I'm sure for you all it does. <laughs> And I'm feeling like this epiphany moment. I'm also feeling this weight being lifted, but you're you're just not doing anything. So the 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 reason for this is because I think you're still learning this. You're still learning how to balance balance the material with the passion with the you know, the action with the showing up, right? And you want, you want to so bad. Like, I feel that. I feel it. I feel, Gemini, that you, you wish that you were able to communicate and share things more forth, 
forthright, um, more out in the open. And look at all the stuff that she's carrying around, you know, like you do that to be try and be prepared for whatever outcome, but it's heavy. Like I said, I felt I feel as if there's a weight that can be lifted off of you when you finally get into this energy, this four of fire energy and the moon. The moon has been making its way, even though it's going to be a solar eclipse, um, because this is eclipse season in general. I just have to keep stretching out my legs. Crazy. Oh, sorry. Um, the moon has been showing up in all the readings so far. You guys know that's your third. I always do them in order. Um, <clears throat> it's been showing up so far in each reading where I feel as if this eclipse season has really brought about some epiphanies for you. And it has been a mental conflict. It has also been the fact that she's trying to balance on this string in midair is giving me pause for a second. It is actually making me nervous. Like I feel um, nervous in the pit of my stomach. Where you all are, you're scared. You're scared. I mean, even she, what, what do you need a mask for? <laughs> what do you need a mask for if you are choosing to behave this way, you know, up in the middle of the sky? I don't know. Maybe it's like if somebody's looking up and they see you, would they know it was you? I'm also getting the feeling as if, you know, this individual that's being depicted in the five of air card is, you know, still trying to make their way. I mean, because it's a five, it's, it's not a, the nine or the ten of swords where it seems as if there's this end of this um, mental cycle. I feel as if your focus isn't there yet. Um, or, like I said, it's that you are reverting back to old ways. But still trying to see, <laughs> I hate to say this, what you can get away with. What can you do that doesn't call for you to be invested 100% in the job, in your own life, just being honest, or with somebody else? And then with the five of pentacles here, it's just, I just feel like these, this energy here is you don't, you don't want to deal with something, Gemini. You don't want to deal with something. And now it's like this twist, twisted feeling in my stomach. So then back to the major arcana. I don't know necessarily if you're going to have a choice in the matter. Because something, something has to end. And you're going to be called to face the consequences of your actions. I was going to say, I'm surprised there's no tower here. We have death. We have the magician. We have the two of air. Pentacles, the hanged man, king of cups. I 
you guys have some great things coming in the pipeline for you this month, but you have to get over this hurdle first. And I, I get that it can be scary to change, but you all are mutable. You're, you're meant to go with the flow. However, I think it's, again, it's easier when you don't have a tie to it, when it's not being based off of you and only you. You guys always have so many people around you and in your life, it makes it very easy to be caught up in that, in that whirlwind of everybody else's opinions. And I feel like that is your lesson. You all have to reach this level of commitment on your own. On your own and stick to it. That's what a commitment is, right? Stick to it. And I and I get, again, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I understand the need and the call and the feeling for change. I get that. But... When it comes to, you know, I'm going to put it in quotation, serious matters, how do you expect to live a successful life if you can't buckle down and be satisfied with something? And so then it calls to me about, you know, the sanctity of a marriage or a, of a job. And I'm not saying you stay in things that don't make you happy, but Things are not going to be the source of your happiness. You have to be. And I think that when you get there, that's why I stopped at the King of Cups. When you get to that emotional fulfillment on your own, it will be a lot easier to commit to things, Gemini. The even give and take. You won't need to wait for anything else to show up. This juggling act can end. You can also be the king of fire and be able to not only give your heart, but be this passionate, action-oriented individual. And then this stuff, you know, the, the heavy burdens, the, the mental gains, and the, um, I want to say where you try and grow by moving around and that's not that's not what's supposed to happen this isn't even i'm not feeling the negative depictions of the five of pentacles with this i'm feeling as if this is a lesson to say even though i was speaking to it before as in this energy is the stuff you have to let go of but the potential you know as much as every as much as these cards may signify something that needs to leave, they also present a positive aspect. You know, the, the light and dark, and it's getting darker now even, you know, like where this video started off lighter, and look at where we are now. Ha! Huh. Um, but I'm feeling too, now that we're reaching the end of the reading, where this is about um, you having to develop those roots to become strong. Let's get your oracle reading. Service. Sacral chakra. Isolation. I feel as if this isolation card is how you... Bottom of the deck energy is about where to find wants us to be. You have to be okay with making decisions on your own. But I also feel like this is, again, where your fear comes from because then there's no accountability for the commitment. But with the isolation is that you'll be alone. No. No. You won't be. So service, what does service mean? Hmm. Sorry, and um, that also means, again, communication. You are going to have to speak 
to some things, Gemini. Service. You have some powerful forces that, I mean, are <laughs> trying very hard to support you. Truly. Or again, you're not alone. You're not alone. But just as much as I feel you, you all can do both things very well. You can give and you can take very well. But I feel when it comes to the things that you are fearful of, you take. And I think that you are now being required to show up for others and to do some major, major healing. Um, this young woman, I want to say that this is definitely stemmed from childhood, potentially from your parents. I don't know if um, necessarily those of you that I'm speaking to with this, you've lost one or both of your parents, um, family members that are super important to you, uh, supportive people around you. But um, I think now you are required to show up in the ways that you didn't before with this card and understanding that you're not alone and knowing that yes it's okay that you want to be a part of something stable that you want to have this love that you want to be able to give this love to give out this productive energy to be this person it's okay it's okay but just just drop just drop all of that extra ness understand where you are also going to need to be present and showing up in the matter. Jump off that freaking cliff. Be a fool. Understand that you're going to have to deal with the consequences of your actions, but the end is here, Geminis. All right. It's not bad. I don't know if I should say time's up part two. <laughs> uh, no, no, I have a, a another video name for you all, but that's your message. That's the message. So I will see you all next time. All the ways to get in touch with me, book a reading. It's half off of healing services for the Lion's Gate. So until August 11th, um, all the information is down in the description box below. Instagram, Facebook, Instant Go, reach out to me. And I will see you all next month. Sending you tons of love and light. Mwah, be blessed.